Leone, why? Leone, why do you gotta lose your arm? Like, yo, this episode, these are great fighting episodes. Like, when you can do a fight to this level where everyone is doing something, there's epicness, there's danger, there's intensity, there's just every element you need. You don't always need the exposition-driven stuff. You don't always need all the giant advancement because you're advancing through an actual battle. And ultimately, this was just an epic, enjoyable, intense-ass fucking episode and an intense-ass battle. Night Raid, I like... This had me going crazy. Let only oh, better not fucking die. I am going to rage like a motherfucking savage if they kill Leone off. I'm just saying, like, don't do it. Don't do it. Let's go. So first of all, I'm thinking to myself, if Night Raid is struggling against Karome, Bowls, and, well, Wave, well, he's not really here, but if they're struggling against mainly Kurome's little army, there's no fucking way they stand a chance against S. Death and the rest of the Jaegers. There's no fucking way. So automatically we're getting a understanding of just how strong the Jaegers truly are that Kurome alone is giving them a fight for their fucking lives. And I just mean, like, everyone from Night Raid really went in and... Karome's people are just like absolutely ridiculously strong and it really gives you a little bit of an idea of how fucked up Karome really is. She's reviving her dead friends and dead things overall to fight for her. I'm like, oh my gosh, this reminds me of some like Nagato reviving Yahiko, or not reviving him, but using him as a puppet to fucking do battle and it's the same thing, she's using dead fucking corpses to do battle, it's like... Oh my god! And she don't even give a fuck, she's just like, yeah, whatever, okay, it's like... She's crazy. She's fucking crazy. And that's the difference between her and Akame. Akame might have her demons inside her head, but she keeps that shit to herself and overall comes across as normal. But Kurome, fucking psycho. Which really makes me want to read Akame Got Kill Zero, I believe it's called. Because if I'm correct, that's supposed to be the origin of Akame. And I think Kurome as well, I'm not 100% sure. But something like this, an episode like this makes me like, I want to go and check that shit out because... I want to know what makes them go fucking batshit, especially Kurome. The two things with this episode I will say that stopped it from being like, oh my god, this is a 10 out of 10, was, first of all, the wave blasting off shit and actually getting injured, I felt that that was just like a cheap way of like, well, I don't know what to do with wave at the moment, and I don't want to explore his avenue just yet, so let me just team rocket him away, and he actually got injured. Something like that kind of made me think like, uh, it kind of reminds me of like, in One Piece, when Sanji used to always get nosebleeds because he would see tits or whatever, but in Fishman Island, he actually got a nosebleed, and it actually went into the actual canon story where they had to get a surgery for him, and it's like, it felt the same way with Wade, it's like, you blast it off, why are you injured as fuck, if they were gonna play it off as a joke, you should have just been alright and fine. Also, what's up with mine, is it just me or does mine get owned in almost every fight? I mean, yeah, she blasted her way out the frog, and that was epic, but... She's just constantly getting shitted on, so mine, I'm a little bit like, I thought you were gonna come across as some badass pink head soon today, but right now, I don't know. But everyone else, I mean, the agenda going in. Chelsea showing what a fucking true assassin does, like, oh my god, Night Raid. But I don't give a fuck. Leone is love, Leone is life, losing her arm, no! I seriously got so into this episode, and I just thought it was fucking awesome. Like, I wish we would've had some s Death involvement, but then at the same time, it's like, look at what they're struggling against Kurome. So, seeing s Death at least, you know, doing something was alright, I guess, although I don't know how relevant that's gonna be with her attacking those bandits or whatever, but just this battle episode, entirely a battle episode, and everyone played their fucking part well. I mean, Tatsumi fighting a fucking giant pounding gorilla, like, and Suzano on some fucking white-haired Kaneki times 10 Super Saiyan shit. Like, the thing about it is, I like that it has a balance, so it's not just some BS power-up. You can only use it three times because it's that goddamn effective, so it's like, couple more times and bye bye an agenda so i'm glad that as well it has a risk to it so it's not just this bullshit power up it has some consequences and overall we just got some great fighting and some progression through the fight within this episode i mean i'm always the type of person i feel as though when a fight goes down i want results if, especially if let's just say no one's gonna die in this fight we got results at the very least. Leone lost an arm. They're struggling like a motherfucker. They're really, they're not having an easy time. This isn't some Natsu coming in. I'm fired up and fucking everyone up. They are struggling for their lives. And Kurome's just standing there chilling. She's just chilling right now. Like, 
You can definitely see that the Jaeger are on a whole different scale. Like, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if Kurome and her army and Esdef could solo, or not solo, but the two of them alone could take out the entire Night Raid. Like, it's just that goddamn OP. I can't forget as well the shit at the ending, the cliffhanger, like, even an epic cliffhanger at that with Bowles saying, fuck it, my table's gone, I'm blowing shit up, we're all going out. Like, Akame, like, you, you, you brought your fucking A game to this fight. But Bowles was a good person, so I'm going to kind of miss him. I ain't going to lie about that. And with all that being said, great episode this week, even though it was only action sometimes. If an action episode can be of that intensity and still progressing through it, it's great. I'm giving this one a 9 out of 10. I absolutely loved it, honestly. I felt as though it just did what it set out to do, and it did it very well with consequences in many different areas, and just seeing how badass Night Raid truly is, because I was like, well, what, what the fuck is Chelsea doing in the forest? Oh, she's actually doing some ninja assassin shit. I get it now. I don't give a fuck. Leone for the win. I, I love Leone. Like, she, she lost an arm, and she's still fighting and jumping into every battle if she can't, like... If that's not a boss bitch, I don't know what is. Can someone give her her arm back, please? Let me know what you guys thought of the episode. What do you think was the most epic part? Was it Susano going in? Agenda? Chelsea? Like, who had the best bit? Akame? There was just so much fucking awesomeness. And it's just clear indication that the Jaegers, if they all were together, would take out Night Raid with ease. And your overall thoughts, but that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you can do so as well, that would be awesome. I'm for the world that has always people. Akame got fucking insanity. Leone is love. Leone is life. Have an awesome day, people.